down in the lowland forest of, Dem of the Democratic Republic of Congo. There lives the endangered ape. There is the lowland gorilla. That is the eastern lowland gorilla. That is the mighty silver. Right before your eyes. It says, the <coughs> Excuse me. I think I must keep my voice in a whisper. The eastern lowland gorilla makes his home in lowland tropical rainforest in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Through the unrest, the gorillas have been vulnerable to poaching, even in Kahuzi Biega National Park, home to the largest population of protected Eastern Lowland gorillas. What is the Eastern Lowland population? Now, I will give you the answer right away. The Eastern Lowland gorilla occurs in the lowlands in every time on rift mountain forests of Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. That's why it is called Eastern Lowland. They live in the lowland forests. Until the mid 1990s, the population was thought to number around 17,000 individuals. But the latest survey found that the numbers have crashed less than 4,000. These are very endangered apes. Save the gorillas. Donate to the WWF. Where the gorillas live in? And this doesn't mean the eastern lowland only. This are like first we will give me the mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in Rwanda, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Just chewing, 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 chewing. Wow, want them? On green volcanic mountains, lowland gorillas live in forests of Central and Western Africa, in Equatorial Guinea, Angola, Cameroon, the Central African Republic, Congo, Gabon, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Want to know whether Eastern lowland gorillas live in groups? Yes, they do. The Eastern lowland gorillas social structure is organized in family groups with the dominant male. The silverback, several females and their offspring. Typically, these groups are formed with two to thirty members. It is very rare, but in some cases, there are two leaders. If there are only one leader, the male is a dominant. But if there are two leaders, either one of the males is dominant. There are no two dominant males. A dominant male, another name for a dominant male is called the alpha male. Wow, eating, eating. Is the Eastern Lowland Gorilla endangered if you want to know? Certainly, it is just confirmed that many of us working in gorilla conservation have feared for some time that the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, Gorilla Birangi Guari, is now classed as critically endangered. This magnificent species, the largest of all primates, is just one step away from vanishing forever. Again, this is the largest gorilla, the largest gorilla of, of the planet. Wow, they are just one step from vanishing away forever. Once they become extinct, they'll be gone forever. We will not hear the name. Eastern Lowland Gorillas again. Let me give you some facts about them. The Eastern Lowland Gorilla or Guarish Gorilla is a subspecies of Eastern Gorilla, endemic to the mountainous forms of Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. Their mass, the male silverback, which is right before your eyes. He is 460 pounds. Are you 460 pounds? I don't think so. Your scientific name is Gorilla Berengi Guari. Their conservation status endangered, population decreasing. Their higher classification is Eastern Gorilla. 
Wow, wonder I wonder what he's doing probably now. Yeah, is he trying to eat more? Well Okay, yeah, the camera. Want to know how many Eastern Lowland Willows are left? According to a 2004 report, there are only about 5,000 Eastern Lowland Willows in the wild, down to fewer than 3,800 in 2016, compared to over 100,000 Western Lowland Willows. Outside their native range, only one female Eastern Lowland Willow lives in captivity at the Antwerp Zoo in Belgium. Wow, he's staring into your eyes, but remember, never stare the gorilla directly in your, into your eyes. I can't stare at him directly, you know what will happen, they will charge. Even though, wow, mother and son sleeping probably, even though gorillas have peaceful wave, sometimes they might still charge. Where do Eastern Lowland Gorillas live? The Eastern Lowland Gorillas make its home in the Lowland Tropical Forest in the Eastern Democratic Republic Congo. The last 50 years, its range has decreased from 8,100 square miles of about the size of the state of Massachusetts to about 4,600 square miles today. This subspecies may now occupy only 13% of its historical range. Eastern Lowland Gorilla facts, we only have three here. Cute. Shh, don't wake them up. Why spend how long the animal lives for and they live for? 35 to 50 years. Lifestyle, whether the animal is solitary or sociable? Sociable. Conservation stances, the likelihood of the animal being extinct, it is endangered. Don't tell him that he's endangered. What does the Eastern Lowland Gorillas eat? About 67% of, the, of their diet is fruit, 17% is leaves, seeds and stems, and 3% is termites and caterpillars. Yuck! Caterpillars! Oh, he, they are both acting the same. <laughs> Shh, guys, you're waking them up. Eastern Lowland Gorilla, Gorilla Birangi Guari. This species consumes part of at least 104 plant species. Wonder why is the Eastern Lowland Gorilla so important? Okay, that is the troop of gorillas. You wonder why they are so important? Do you want to know? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Gorillas in, are important to indigenous communities. Indigenous, indigenous communities. Many, many local indigenous tribes and communities living alongside the gorilla have been considered the gorilla to be the pet. Okay, now wait. Um, let me see. Okay, wait. Give me one second. I'll just let you enjoy the music for a while and I'll start to talk again. Wow, she does. I think that's grooming. I think that's called grooming. And for the granary school, caring mothers. They do have caring mothers. When you think about caring mothers in the animal kingdom, what species come to mind? Gorari Skrilla should be high on the list. They are excellent mothers and devote a lot of care to their babies. Young gorillas are dependent until they are three or four years old. During that whole time, the mother nurses them and carry them around. In addition, they play with their babies and teach them, just like humans do. What well, does your mommy play with you and teach you? If you're homeschooled, maybe. Wow, where are you going, man? If you ever wonder how a gorilla walks, he not go walk. 
Do you know what's a knuckle walk? Okay, I want you to try it. Your hands folded up like this. Okay, like this. Then you press on the table. Or on the tail. And then your legs. You see how the gorilla is like all you had? I practiced many times. I did it. Or fist walking, you know what they Fist walking, I hope you do. Even after weaning, when they stop nursing, a guavis gorilla won't stay with his mother for years. Other interesting facts. Given how much time they devote to each baby, it is not surprising that a female gorilla will only have two to six babies during her 40 year lifespan. Before she has the baby, a female gorilla has a gestation period, the time she carries the baby before giving birth of eight and a half months, which is almost the same as humans. Female gorilla's gorilla usually breed around the age of 10 years old and males do not usually breed until they are at least 15. Unfortunately, this Fascinate, fascinating creature is critically endangered because of poaching and habitat destruction. Check out my video. No more killing and poaching endangered animals by the animal channel. Or you can just go find it on my animal channel if you click down below where it says subscribe. Just click on the channel where you see, I think it's going to be a flower and where you see the words the animal channel. Also. Or tips for safe. Wait, was it that? Or something like that? I, I don't really remember. It says your warrior gorillas are the largest subspecies of gorillas. Eastern lowland gorillas, like other gorilla species, are mainly herbivores, meaning they mostly eat plants. They eat every part of the plant, including roots, leaves, fruit, stems, flowers bark, and even fungi, or mushrooms. They will eat smaller ground plants and vines as well as foraging in the trees. This species won't sometimes eat insects, but for the most part they are herbivores. Eastern lowland gorillas are endangered species. Means they're almost going to be extinct. Endangered or endangered. Wow, what she do it? Thanks for watching the video. Remember to always subscribe to the Anvil channel. Probably next week we will have more documentaries about worlds, but just wait till next week. Join the group in next Monday. I think I always have a premiere every Monday around 7.30 or 7.45. You know my time. If you watch this video, you will know. Next week is August. 17, remember to write down on your calendar August 17, a gorilla documentary premiere by Joel Lang. Remember, write it down. I don't need to miss it. Very important documentary. Stay, always stay to the animal channel. Say goodnight to them.